Welcome back, my friends. I hope you are ready to get your mind aligned with the truth of God. If you don't feel like you are, just take a moment. Stop and take a deep breath. Clear your mind. Push away all the stresses that are already piling in on you before you've even really started your day. And just rest. Put yourself in a place where you can concentrate and focus. Maybe you need to move to a different room. Maybe you need to go get in the shower where no one can bother you and your phone can't ring. And set this recording right outside so you can listen as we continue to put our minds on the ways and will of our God. That is what matters. We've been looking at Psalm number 119. And Psalm chapter 119, as I referred to yesterday, is all about the benefits of God's Word, the Bible, Scripture. And today, I want to look at verse number 11. There are many songs that have been written about this verse. There is a familiarity to it for most of us. And it says, Your word have I hidden in my heart that I might not sin against you. You see, if you walk through the logic of the verse, it makes total sense. If we have God's word hidden inside of us and not hidden like a hidden treasure where someone has to hunt for it or we have to hunt for it, but rather hidden in the sense of put away for for better use, for good use, Anytime we might need it, like like resources you might set up in a, in a root cellar or something of that nature. You stored up God's word so that when you need it, it's there for you to use so that you might not sin against him. That makes total sense. And this verse has been used often and rightly so to encourage the memorization of scripture. I believe having scripture readily on hand in our minds is a powerful way that we're able to fight all kinds of things that come against us in life, whether that be temptations, whether that be lies, whether it be wrong or untrue feelings, whether it be the accusations of other people. Scripture is a powerful weapon that we need to learn to wield very much like a sword to chop down those things in our own minds, in our own understanding when they arise. And on this episode of The Morning Mindset, I want to give you some tools to help you do that. Because the thought of just sitting down and memorizing something like your math facts or dates in a history class might seem a little tedious and a little boring, and indeed it can be. And so I want to give you some help with that, give you some resources. Now, in the description portion of this episode on your podcast player or app, I'm including a number of links to resources that would be helpful to you. Now, the first is one I came across many years ago. It's put out by The Navigators, a Christian organization. It's called the Topical Memory System. And it is a set of little cards that you get and you read through regularly and you let them soak into you and saturate you as you read them over and over and as you get them into your own mind. The second I want to point out is an app I've come across both for Apple and for Android that is a scripture memory app. It has all kinds of ways to memorize scripture, to play games, perhaps even to set up reminders to you to go and look into the scriptures for yourself. And then finally is a playlist I came across on Spotify that is scripture set to music. It, they're called scripture memory songs. We had some CDs of these back in the 80s and 90s that my wife and I would listen to quite often. Uh, quite beautiful, well done music that is incredibly helpful in getting scripture into your soul in a way that Quite honestly, you can't get rid of it. Sometimes those songs just replay in your mind over and over and over in a good way. And that is what we need for Scripture to do in our lives, isn't it? So I'm going to encourage you, my friends, take one of those resources that kind of resonates with you and learn to do what this verse says, to store up God's Word in your heart so that you might not sin against Him. And my friends, if you're benefiting from the morning mindset, I would appreciate if you'd share it with someone you know who could use it in their lives. And join me again tomorrow.